Hello, it's Ian Hamilton uh, of RQ8 Architecture and I'm going to talk to you about historic roofing materials. Now, I'm not intending on covering every different type of historic roofing uh, used throughout Australia, but I will just look at the most common, the most common types. And the first one uh, I would like to talk about is slate. Now, what, what it, what it, what's really important with historic uh, materials is that they be regularly inspected to in order in order to ensure that there's um, no water ingress that can be causing long-term damage, uh, leading to expensive repairs. Now, talk, talking about slate, slate's been used in the was has been used in the United Kingdom since the 13th century as a roofing material, and the best quality slate was and still is that available from quarries in the United Kingdom. In the early days of colonization in Australia there were there were no lack of skilled tradespeople um, available because of the, because many came as early settlers to Australia and some of the early slate roofs built uh, in Australia were of very high quality and they often brought their building materials with them so slate was brought as ballast in the in many of the early uh, ships in uh, to into Sydney Harbour, and hence around the the edge of Sydney Harbour, you've got many historic properties that were that were built from that using early uh, slate from those those colonists' ships. Now, since uh, the early days of colonisation, when slate was being brought into Australia there were sources of slate found throughout Australia but unfortunately much of it is of poorer quality and um, it, does, it, 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 it doesn't have the longevity that, that a good quality Welsh slate for example would, would have. Now just to look at the images behind me here this is a, bu a building that we've been involved in the reconstruction of that was burnt down in, 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 a, in a bushfire in, in, in the 1950s. This is the the, the former governor's residence, Marble Hill in the Adelaide Hills, and the original, this is the uh, original um, building uh, before it burned down, and you can see it had a Welsh slate roof on it, so good quality roof there. And This image on the uh, right hand side is the Catholic Cathedral in, in Adelaide. You can see it has a, um, an original Welsh slate roof which was built in the, in the late 1860s. And alongside it is a section of Wollonga slate roof, which was put, which was um, installed on the cathedral in the 19, 1920s. And uh, you can see that that in actual fact, the Wollonga slate is in, is in a worse state than the original Welsh slate roof. Um, so it, it only goes to show that the the, the quality of the Welsh um, the Welsh slate, which can last in excess of one hundred and fifty years. If, if, if well, if the, if the right quality of slate and, and, and the right means of installation is, is, is adopted. So, uh, some of the issues that you can have, this just demonstrates some of the facts, some, some, some of the things to look out for when, when you have an, uh, an historic slate roof. The image on the um, left hand side here shows a poor quality Spanish slate that was put onto a building in Gawler in the 1970s. And these, this, this slate contains a lot of uh, iron pyrites, which basically rust. So it's basically iron embedded within the slate itself, and it rusts, and it causes weak points throughout the slate. And these slates, uh, you can see, are, are deteriorating quite rapidly. Some have fallen out. You can see where they've tried to temporarily repair it using silicon. Um, so this, this roof is basically um, needs to be replaced as a matter of urgency. And it um, it will uh, you know and, 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 and it's it's been poorly maintained generally speaking. The image on the right hand side is um, is is, an, is a, a historic property in North Adelaide, and you can see there's been a whole variety of different slates used within this this section of roof. And many of them appear to be Wollonga slate and the thing about Wollonga is it's very difficult. This is the local South Australian um, slate, excuse me, it, it's um, 
very difficult to see how it's degrading because it tends to delaminate underneath the, 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 the top surface so it's hard to see that it's actually becoming quite badly damaged over time but it, it doesn't tend to have a life expectancy of any more than about 50 years. And some more issues, here's a slate roof again this is a, a building in, in Gawler. Uh, you can see a slate has slipped out of its position here where the nail has basically um, uh, it, it rusted away and it's been caught by what's called a slate tingle which is a little strip of lead which is which roofers temporarily put in in order to hold slates where where they're where they've become unstable and in fact you can even see a screw somebody screwed one of the slates down using a wash uh, with a washer which is very poor um, very poor practice so this is generally a poorly maintained roof and here on the other side again a building in North Adelaide uh, where uh, poor quality Welsh slate was used in the 1990s to re-roof it and the pyrites within this Welsh slate roof um, this poor quality tire, uh, slate uh, are starting to bleed out and now uh, this roof is essentially um, going to need to be replaced very soon. Now our last slide about slate this is a very picturesque roof but the problem being that the presence of lichen and mosses uh, they, cr they, they create a very acidic environment because they, they um, secrete digestive juices in order to uh, absorb um, minerals and nutrients from the, from the slate and they basically destroy the surface of the slate and, and cause rapid a more rapid deterioration of the slate so if you have a lichen if you have lichen on your roof I would strongly recommend that you get it cleaned otherwise you may be replacing your roof sooner rather than later now the next roofing the next roofing material I'd, I'd like to talk about is terracotta tiles now terracotta uh, has been used as a building material in Europe really since the Middle Ages um, handmade generally in the, in the early days but in more recent um, times it, it the the tiles themselves lend themselves lend lend themselves to man-made manufacture machine ma machine manufacture and you can see some machine made uh, what are called marseille tiles on this this slide on the left hand side here and on the right hand side you can see some handmade um, what are called plain tiles so um, terracotta, um, it doesn't because as as standardised um, uh, tiles, they are easier to install. They require less skill to install than slate, and um, manufacture of uh, terracotta tiles started in Australia really in the early twentieth century. Um, they're made from clay clearly and. They can, they, they are quite durable, but they tend to need to be replaced after perhaps anywhere between 50 and 70 years, um, depending upon the quality of the tiles and depending upon the local environmental conditions. Uh, deterioration may not be apparent other than by close inspection, and any terracotta tiles over 50 years old should be inspected on an annual basis. To, uh, to ensure that they're not deteriorating and, and allowing water uh, into the fabric beneath. Moving along to metal sheet roofs. Now corrugated sheet metal roofing became popular in Australia really uh, after its um, corrugated iron was started to be man manufactured in large volumes in the United Kingdom in mid-Victorian times um, uh, so it became widely used in Australia because the sheets can span large widths um, large distances and they don't require skilled labor to install them and uh, they tend to be fairly economic they tend to be fairly cheap so what happened was that they um, the many historic buildings that would formerly have been slate or had, would formerly have had slate or s tiled roofs on them were replaced using corrugated iron particularly within the um, latter part of the 20th century 
and um, primarily for, for economic reasons. The biggest problem with corrugated metal roofing is rust um, because it can rust um, at the joints uh, where, beneath the overlaps of the sheets and where it's not really that obvious and here's a, a, a building that, that Arcurate has recently done a major um, uh, restoration uh, work on and you can see this was the original metal roof and you can see the, 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 the presence of rust on the bottom edges here and actually if you when we peel back the roofing you can see the presence of rust underneath underneath on these sheets and they were they were painted at one point um, around about 25 or 30 years ago um, so it has given them it did give them uh, those sheets providing you use a suitable um, paint specification um, and the rust is not is only superficial at the time at which you're, you're you're painting the roof you can get anything up to 20 or more years of um, use out of a metal roof um, but it um, it's unlikely you're going to be able to to get any more Now, asbestos shingles and sheets. Now, asbestos is a raw material that is in abundance in, in Australia. Um, and because of that reason, and because it is extremely durable, fireproof, and um, uh, it's really a, a wonderful building material, um, and many components, particularly um, from the 1950s onwards, in Australia where may were manufactured from asbestos. Now our, um, historic slate and tiled roofs that were that had, had reached the end of their useful life were often changed um, over t to um, uh, asbestos shingles so you can see the roof on the on this side on the right hand side here would have been a Welsh uh, slate roof originally but in actual fact has uh, was re-roofed using uh, asbestos shingles I think in the 1970s I believe or they might have been in the 1980s but that now is a serious problem because um, of the difficulty of, of doing any work on that um, roof for health and safety reasons and here is a similar situation where we have the presbytery of a church in North Adelaide again with a very similar asbestos shingle roof on it um, so as I say the problem being that in order to do any work or in order to strip off and replace an asbestos roof requires the, the um, uh, and, and requires a specialist cons contractor to carry out the works um, and it's really really important to be able to identify whether the material the sheet material or the shingles on the on the, the 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 roof of your historic property is asbestos because you if you ask a contractor to do work on on a roof that uh, that um, even if you don't know it's asbestos it can lead to prosecutions because of um, the breach of health and safety regulations so you've really got to you've really got to get uh, expert advice as to whether your roof contains asbestos so Really, I think those are the main the main points that I wanted to talk about with regard to uh, historic roofing. And the next guidance note will be histor will be f the flashings for um, historic roofs. Um, and I'll um, look forward to speaking to you then. Thank you.